All right, friends, thank you for joining us. Uh, let me pause this real quick. Welcome to Tip. Oh, I'm gonna move over this way. Give me a little room. Okay. Come on over. Let's get let's get snuggy. Well, I'm always afraid I'm gonna run over Bruno's yeah, paws because you never know where he's at. <laughs> yeah, our pug is here. Friends, thank you for joining us. This is Tabletop tonight. My name is Ruel Gaviola. This is my wife Michelle. Hello, welcome. We, welcome. We play games Mondays through Thursdays here on Twitch, usually at 7 p.m. Pacific. We also do random streams um, throughout the week, or I do sometimes. Um, and this weekend, we just did this huge uh, event called Tabletop Live Network. Uh, myself and the Brothers Murph uh, organized this three months ago. We have done three events. We just did a 24-hour event this weekend, which was amazing. It was <laughs> crazy, crazy good, right? We had a lot of fun. I want to welcome TVMD uh, there in the house first, so thank you for clicking so fast and being the first. Click, click, click. <laughs> <laughs> Dead pants in the house. TV Glazers, hello. With the, oh, I love TV Glazers. Got the, the new Bruno emotes. You can see him, Bruno, with the little bone. Uh, Sarah, <laughs> hi, Sarah. Thanks for joining us. Uh, yes, Bruno may show up later. We'll we'll see. He's walking around underneath us. I think he's looking for burning. Yeah, yeah, burning a bit spare. Um, T. Vivdi said, uh, today was a good day. My disabled husband is in a much better and safer environment. They have therapy dogs. That's so, so cool, T. Vivdi. I'm, I'm, we are happy for you. We, we saw that comment right before we went live. Just wanted to shout that out. Um, therapy dogs are the best dogs. They're, they're so cool. Um, before we get going, if you've never been here before, we do um, analog alerts. And so you won't see any of the uh, fancy uh, digital stuff, but we do do um, analog alerts, which are these things like, hey, look, let's talk about our stream stacks. <laughs> uh, we also got a new, uh, hey, a renewed subscription. Let's go, Carol. Thank you. Let's go, Carol, for subscribing. Wow, seven months at tier one. That is amazing. Thank you. We're going to, speaking of analog alerts, we have an alert. Alert. We have a renewed subscription. Thanks to our friend, Let's Go, Carol. Thank you, Let's Go, Carol. Yeah, I remember Let's Go Carol's been here f since early on. Uh, one of the and, OGs, no? One of the OGs, yeah. One of the uh, original Gaviolas. Or <laughs> <laughs> one of the uh, our original followers and uh, supporters. So thank you, uh, Let's Go Carol. We really appreciate that. Seven months, where did time go? Yeah, that's that's totally mind-blowing to me. Well, so, all last year, it was, you know, where, where are we? What day is it? Yeah, like time has no meaning. Um, well, I still, like... You know, even just when I'm doing my work stuff, I have to look at the calendar yeah. every time I write the date or, you know, like, I'm like, what day is it? I, I don't know. Yeah. And we were talking about, <coughs> before we went live, how today just totally got past. Uh, <coughs> I left, I totally lost track of time today. Yeah. Like, it just seemed like. You were I, busy. Yeah. From the get-go. Seriously, once I woke up, like, I didn't even eat breakfast till like, almost 10 a.m. It was ridiculous. Like, Michelle had already eaten. She was in her office. I was in this office just plugging away, and I, I looked out the, the door here. I opened the door. I was like, oh, my gosh. It's it's almost 10 o'clock. I, you know, I whipped up some eggs real quick. and Oh, oh just, that's where all the eggs went. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Can we add eggs to our grocery list? Um, but let's see. Uh, let's go. Yeah, it's seven months. Uh, James, thanks for joining us. We were just talking about uh, Let's Go Carol has now been a seven-month subscriber. I think that might have been our first month on Twitch because – Technically, this is oh, this is season eleven of Tabletop Tonight. Uh, we started it. Um, we every start yeah. of the month we have a new season, right? And so we started this back in March, but it was known as Live at Five. Mm -hmm. So we did March, April was season one, Live at Five. Season two, Live at Five was uh, May. Then June was season three. I think that's when we transitioned over to Tabletop Tonight. Uh, because that's we, in June we we came over to Twitch um, permanently and we just cruised on over to Twitch and became affiliate like a week later thanks to all of your support and here we are seven months later and so thank you let's go Carol and we're still eating our stream snacks <laughs> yeah we, we still have our streams so yeah folks I don't know if y'all please let us know where you're eating and or drinking that's one thing we love to do here um, we're foodies and actually I, I'm sort of ashamed to admit this but so Michelle and I. I've been the Yelp elite for many, many oh. years, and this year I lost my elite status because I did not review enough stuff. I wasn't engaged on Yelp as much. Michelle has renewed. She was brought back as an elite, um, but I figured, well, I know I'm going to be more active on Yelp once we can, like, go sit in a restaurant in real life again. Yeah, that's you know? the thing, too, because, I mean, I didn't really write a lot of reviews. I think at the beginning of the year, I think I wrote three 
and then there were a few like Yelp Elite events I, I you know I reviewed but I didn't review all the ones that I went to yeah, yeah. Um, and really like there was nothing to write I'm like we didn't go anywhere I know like, I go to the grocery store and you know what else can you say <laughs> exactly <laughs> Time Roller is rain with a party three thank you Time Roller for the raid appreciate it, my friend he, we've got the raining helmet thank you Time Roller let us know what you played. I hope your stream went well. But, folks, if you're here for the first time, my name is Ruel Gaviola. It's my wife, Michelle. She's the one that made this hat out of um, a manila folder, and duct tape. tape, and there's like a little old, like, bling right Yeah, it's from Christmas Tinsel. <laughs> Christmas Tinsel. But I was just looking to see if it was in good shape, and it actually is. Yeah. It it's up really well. <laughs> yeah, it's totally, it's, it's totally still a helmet. And, yeah, so thank you, Time Roller, for the raid. Much appreciated. Tim Living Nice in LA is in the house. Montgomery Matt's in the house. Bottom Shelf Video Games is in the house. Bottom Shelf says, you are still elite to me. Thank you, Alex. Aww. Much appreciated. <laughs> Bones John says, it's 3 in the morning, so I'm trying to not eat anything. That's how, oh, Legends has had roast beef sandwich and chips. Ooh, very nice. Sounds good. Uh, Tim Living Nice cooking. Long with some breakfast for dinner. Oh, my gosh. That sounds, oh, yeah. That's how, I, I love breakfast. <laughs> I love breakfast for dinner, but especially Filipino breakfast for dinner, because... It's, it's got rice, you know? Because it's like dinner at breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> um, bottom Shelf uh, was surprised it was a manila floor. He thought it was actual leather helmet. No. <laughs> the secrets <laughs> of that. Uh, popped in an announcement here. Okay, I'll check that out, Time War, in just a second. Thank you. Uh, manila floor, yeah. It's 509 and Legend. Oh, yeah, Legends is uh, Aloha Time over there. In oh. Yeah. Calabunga friend, thank you for joining us. Uh, appreciate the uh, raid. I was just thinking how much I, I miss hula today. Yeah, you want to talk about that? How much, like Michelle was, uh, <laughs> is a hula dancer. I don't know if there's much to say. I haven't hula since. Oh gosh, it's been like a, it's been a year. Yeah. Because I think we stopped right before the pandemic. So I mean, if it wasn't a year, it was close to a year. Mm -hmm. We stopped. Yeah. So, I, I just uh, I know you have your like sisterhood there and yeah you know they're they're good people and yeah I mean it's always you know on Facebook you know yeah. I I miss the uh, your the performances so she would their group oh, would do performances fun. yeah every now and, uh, occasionally here in either in town mainly in town right I mean always always uh, always yeah, in town always like, yeah like they had one it was really nice at the uh, community center here and oh that was with the costumes and everything that was great yeah. Uh, he shouldn't have the headdress. It's yes. Like... Uh, Panda Angel, sorry I'm late. Working... Yeah, Panda Angel, folks, is in the house. Uh, she is the chat moderator. Also working on Galantine, Galentine's Day stuff. If you don't know, now you know. We're going to let you know <laughs> that no, the... No, yeah, you know. Uh, Galentine's Day is February 14th. And, excuse me, uh, Amanda Panda and I believe Crystal Dax are um, organizing an event. For that day, it's going to be... A bunch of streamers, uh, female and female presenting uh, ch uh, Twitch streamers, and it's going to go. They're going to do a very similar thing to the Tabletop Live Network, where they raid back to back to back. It's going to be a ton of great streamers, a ton of great streams, uh, focus on female and female presenting uh, channels. So please support that. We're going to put some stuff into the Tabletop Live Network stream. Uh, or I mean, uh, social media that we're going to help hype that. So. Please mark that day on your calendar if you haven't already. It's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of great streamers there. It's going to be very, very cool. So, Is that going to be 24 hours also? I don't think it's 24, but it's it's a good chunk. It's like 16 hours, or 12 to 16 hours, oh, wow. I, I believe. Yeah. Amanda, I'm sure, will be able to um, answer that. Uh, folks, important question. What are y'all eating and or <laughs> drinking? Um, we, well, Michelle finished her bio piece of it. <laughs> We have compliments. Uh, thanks to our friend Amanda Panda for bringing this over. I don't know if y'all can see it. Uh, this is from Game House Cafe here in Glendale, California. It's our local uh, board gaming cafe. They obviously are not open these days because of COVID, but they do bake incredible desserts. And they do it once a week mm -hmm. now where they um, put a couple of pies on sale up until Thursday. You can order online. And then Saturday, they have a four-hour window where you can pick it up. They also have cookies, but the pies are phenomenal. They just added these cheesecake bars to the menu. <laughs> awesome. So, you want to talk about it while I take a bite? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I already ate my half of, of this cheesecake bar. This is espresso flavor. And what was the other one? Just regular cheesecake? Oh, vanilla cheesecake. Vanilla yeah. cheesecake. Oh, my goodness. You, you, you can't go wrong. Mm. <laughs> so good. Oh, 
We were doing homemade Kelly hand rolls tonight for dinner. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, so in my younger days, um, me and my friend, we tried to make California rolls, and this was like the first time. You know, we're like, we're looking at, you know, California rolls, and I'm like, well, you know, there's not that many ingredients in this. We can do this. So we weren't quite sure about the proportions. So we're like, well, let's just cook a whole pot of rice. So we did that, and, you know, we had all the, the seaweed and all the other goodies to put in there. <laughs> it, it wasn't aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> we used a lot of rice, and apparently you don't need a lot. <laughs> I just remember it was like the biggest California roll you'd ever seen. It was more like a California roll burger. Nice. And yeah, it didn't taste that good either. <laughs> so we'll leave that to the professionals. <laughs> nice. Uh, just catching up here. Uh... See how our stat says, I'm so excited about Galentine's Day. Just heard about it on Dakota Stream. Sounds great. Awesome. Yes. And Amanda confirms 18 hours. That's so awesome, folks. Wow. Uh, see, Albert also said, I just stressed, ate way too many Nutter Butters. <laughs> nice. Uh, Mapleville Cafe has raided us. Thank you, Mapleville, for the raid. We're going to get the raiding hat. Friends, welcome. This is Tabletop Tonight. My name is Ruel Gabiola. This is my wife, Michelle. Hello. I want to say hi to our friends from Meepleville, uh, Tim, Grant, and the whole crew there. Appreciate y'all rating. Hopefully, I don't know if y'all were um, just chatting tonight or if you actually played a game. Let us know in chat. Um, but thank you for the raid. Much appreciated. This Wednesday night, Meepleville has their weekly, more the more the, Meep, wait, the more Meeples, the merrier, a uh, little panel of content creators. They just talk things, um, all things board game related and board game adjacent. I was very fortunate to be on a couple of the episodes recently. It's a great time. A lot of great content creators there. And we just talk about games and what they uh, they mean to us and uh, other issues that are happening in the board game community. So shout out to Tim, uh, William, Wolf, uh, Grant, and all the, the crew. Thank you. Yes, there's a raid with the Bruno emotes. Appreciate it, friends. Welcome. Hi, Griff Dog. Hi, uh, uh, Tommy Miller Jr. has subscribed for three months now. Thank you, Tommy. Much appreciated. Tommy, I want to let you know. Folks, uh, our friend Tommy, you can't see it now, but there is a mic, mic boom stand that we are currently using. And I'm still fiddling around with the controls for our mics, but this thing is way much, way sturdier than what we had before. Yeah. You know, like before, like we actually we literally had one of our cameras fall down <laughs> one time. Remember that? I do, I do. Another time there was a light that fell. A light that <laughs> fell, but thanks to Tommy uh, Miller and his generosity, um, we have some better equipment here he also sent us the game by felicia which we're gonna eventually play one of these days so shout out to you tommy thank you for resubscribing uh hackenbush uh says hello to ha hello hackenbush 14 appreciate it uh tommy miller loves seeing you on hollywood squares yeah i like being in the middle square um <laughs> tim had called me like the Whoopi goldberg right but i, I always say i was the alice in the brady bunch squares <laughs> Legend says this war of mine was an enjoyable game to play. Oh, okay. I really want to play that. I know Rado is huge on that. Day one in game harsh winter, so my characters built a heater. Day two, Shelling came in and destroyed the heater, but the game was. I, I really need to play that. Thank you for uh, sharing that. Uh, there is. Thank you for the shout out, Amanda. That is Meepleville, folks. If you um, would uh, follow them, that'd be greatly appreciated. There, they're wonderful. We were just talking about board game cafes, and they are amazing. Um, just the staff, the the vibe, the atmosphere, how they're dedicated to the community. Really? Have we gone to that one before we even went to Game House? Uh, no, we went to Game House uh, oh, many did? years before, yeah. But we did go to Meepleville, and yeah, we, oh, we've been there a couple of times. It, it's so much fun. Um, let's see. Let's get some comments here. Pack up on the comments. Do, 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 do. I don't... Bruno's not... I don't know. He wants to come up here, but he's, <laughs> he's just... Chilling like he's looking at me. Yeah, he doesn't want to jump up yet. But hey, James wants to take him for a walk. So thank you, uh, James. Uh, there is the walk. Bruno is walking. And hey, T Viv D has gifted five so <gasps> Oh my gosh, T Viv D, that is so kind of you. Thank you so much for doing that. And folks, you know that means we have to do an alert. Alert. We have five new gift subs. Thank you to our friend T Viv D. Thank you, T Viv D. We appreciate your support. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. And since they were gifts, we do this. Gift, 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 gift. Thank you, Team 50. That's the gift app. That's oh, Bruno's right here. Bruno, you want to touch the? You want to play with the gift? Here, gift. He's gonna eat it. He's gonna try to eat this gift, I think. Here, 
Thanks, but sweetheart. thank you. Much appreciated. Thank you so much, TV. It's so generous of you. Friends, welcome. All of you who have new subscriptions, please enjoy them. Um, we will do our best to keep you all entertained and just hanging out. We, we really appreciate it. Uh, all of you. Bones, Jones, Bones John is in the house. Tabletops is in the house. We we said hi to Sarah. We will say hi to Sarah again. And DJ Super Best Friend, yes, thank you for joining us. Okay, here he goes. Oh, here we go. Here, we got a Bruno sighting, folks. Oh. Do you want to come up, Bruno? I don't know how I'm going to do this. You're so heavy. Okay, yeah, one, two, three. Oh, oh there, there's Bruno. Oh, the baby. Folks, we have a hype train coming in. Oh my oh. gosh, really? Hype train coming in, oh. folks. Let's keep this yeah. thing going. There is um, emotes to uh, grab and all kinds of good stuff. Thank you, GB Glazer, for the subscription. We have a Bruno fan. Um, I don't know what's going on. Oh, Bruno, are you okay? Bruno's so hyped. Excited. We've got the hype train. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Why are you licking my arm? Ah, Bruno. Ah, oh. Bruno's got a hold of the hype train. <laughs> Super excited. Oh my gosh. We're at the oh. level three hype train, folks. I have a level oh, three here. No. Uh, let's see, level four. We are on the level oh. three hype train. Level three hype train. And Tommy oh. Miller has gifted oh, five subs. Goodness. Five subs, oh. folks. That's ten subs. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Thank you, Tommy Miller. That's oh, an alert. Goodness. Alert. We've got five more new subscriptions. Oh. Wow. Thank you, the Tommy Miller. Thank you so much. Oh, Bruno, don't eat that. That's the game. <laughs> Oh, no. oh my gosh, Bruno! So we're gonna, I'll, I'll do it for Michelle. Gift, 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 gift. gift. Thank you, Tommy. Oh my Appreciate goodness. it. My hat is off to you. Hornus has cheered bits. Amanda Panda has cheered bits. Oh, oh, Bruno's away, so we can bust out. Benny the Bits Bear. Thank you, friends, for spending the bits. Thank you for getting aboard the hype train. Woo woo! Chugga 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 chugga. Benny is on the hype train, folks. Chugga chugga chugga. <laughs> I'm playing with this potato. Oh, Bruno's got the oh potato. Gosh, Folks, thank you so much. Thank you for the Bruno fans. Oh, he dropped his potato. Oh, Bruno, where's your potato? He loves this little potato uh, from Big Potato Games. There he is. Yeah, Bruno. Want to show your friends the potato? Oh, he, now he doesn't want it. Um, <laughs> he just won't my arm. <laughs> DJ Super Best Friend has uh, redeemed Bruno fan. Folks, we got cheers. We got subs. Thank you, folks. For all of your support, we've got we're on the level four hype train. Uh, where's the level four? It was over here. Oh my goodness, Bruno! Okay, so I think I've been kicked out of my chair. <laughs> <laughs> here's the level four. Uh, here's the hype train. We're still going. We got another three minutes, folks. Level four hype train. <laughs> Bruno. <laughs> Bruno's uh, Bruno's oh, definitely on the hype train. Oh, oh, oh Bruno. <laughs> hey, what about this one, Bruno? Bruno this is what? cool too. Oh, no, not the oh. keyboard. Oh my goodness! He's such a big boy. Yeah, big potato. Ah! Bruno loves big potato games. Ah! Oh, <laughs> he just threw it out. Oh, <laughs> he's like way hyper right now. Okay. You Thank you, friends. Now. We appreciate. It. We got three more minutes to oh. uh, get that hype train to level five. We're on level four right now, <laughs> but we do appreciate the support. It's so awesome. Yes, Puptastic <laughs> or Puptato. TVB. Who's a good boy? Well, Bruno <laughs> is a good boy. So he tries to get Benny the Bits Bear. So I'm going right. to. Oh, oh. While he's on the floor, we will give you an extra Benny the Bits Bear. <laughs> Benny the Bits Bear, pug tato. Bruno is a pug tato. Thank you, friends, for all of your support. Hey, did y'all. Were you here for T Tabletop Live Network? That was a fun event. I uh, I don't know what else to say, but it was fun. <laughs> we have Valentine's Day coming up February 14th. Bye. Bruno. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I've got to hide Benny from Bruno. Uh, anyways. There are some new followers as well, I believe. I might have. Um, TVMD is here for Bruno. Did I miss any followers? We had a hype train. That's so cool. We got a hype train on Monday <laughs> night, folks. That's great. Thank you so much. Uh, we've got um, the raids coming in. We've got. We're about 23% um, on level four. Thank you again for your support. Um, <laughs> Bruno. Bruno's like chill now. He's like okay. Uh, Tabletop Live Network. Thank you. Um, Cornus, yes, it was glorious. Oh my gosh, Gil, our friend Gil Goots watched 20 hours of TLN. Wow. Gil, that is amazing. And a Jawaya, uh, is it Je oh, Jelly Wawa cheered 100 bits. Jelly Wawa, <laughs> Jelly Wawa, <laughs> Jelly Wawa. Thank you for spending the bits. <laughs> this is Michelle, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thanks. You know what? I talked to Lauren. She doesn't like, oh, oh, oh. You like that. That's, oh, I'm a good boy. <laughs> I have no bear treats. <laughs> yeah. 
Thank you, DJ Super Best Friend. He reminds me to hydrate. And that's a good thing okay. when I do that voice. So thank you yeah. so much. Bruno's <laughs> just sitting here looking at me. <laughs> me hammer time, yes, LOL. <laughs> thank you. Gil, I'm still blown away that you watched 20 hours. Even I didn't watch 20 hours. I watched a good <laughs> chunk of it. But I fell asleep right after Ella at midnight. And I woke up just in time to catch part of Rocks at 6 a.m. But, man, good kudos to you, friend. Me hammer time is laughing. Nice. Yeah, TLN forever. Folks, we, we, had, uh, we oh, announced... Oh, she tattoos. TLN forever. <laughs> yeah, TLN for life right here on the belly. You know. <laughs> TLN life, you know. <laughs> Um, That's what y'all should start selling is like those little like Chuck E. Cheese <laughs> tattoos. Temporary tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got 40 seconds left on the hype train. We've got 28% on the level 40. Y'all are amazing. I it, That was so cool. It was really cool to see it on Tabletop Live Network so many streamers got like to level 5 hype train. Yeah. I, it, was, it was amazing because all of you, just your support, your you know kind words, and your uh, generous generosity, uh, we truly appreciate it. Uh, it, it was just, it was so cool to see. Uh, me Hammer Time says, I was LOLing for the bear puppet getting his back <laughs> <laughs> To live in nice in LA, was able to catch some of the middle of the night streams. Great lineup. Oh, yes, agreed. The lineup was <laughs> fantastic. Bruno, temp tattoos, it should be a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, we all received uh, some type train emotes. So be sure to share those. Thank you for getting the hype train up to level three on a Monday night. That's great. With 12 subs, a bunch of bits spent. Awesome. You are all awesome. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. To live in Dyson, in L.A., one blank slate on Ellis Street. Oh, cool. Nice. That's so awesome. Congrats. Well done. We love blank slate. That's that's a good one. Um, to live in Dyson, L.A., if you ever want to play a game online, let us know. Uh, we will we will happily play, especially blank slate. That's a good one. We hope um, the baby is asleep right now. And I know, to live in Dyson, I, I think you know um, uh, DJ Super Best Friend that is... Andrew, and then he and his wife Pia put together board game spam. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're they're a great couple. We just you know we've never met you in IRL, right? Uh, in real life, mm -hmm. yeah. Is that what the kids say? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. On um, click clock. On click clock. <laughs> but we've never met them in real life. But we just uh, sort of just I don't know. I just think they're just cool, and I I like their vibe and watching them stream games and. Um, one of these days, hopefully. But anyways, what I was saying is they uh, also have a newborn as mm -hmm. well. So they play games when the baby's sleeping. I, I think that's so cool. Did you uh, see what James said? No, I did not see. He said, I too watched 20 hours and John before. Oh my and gosh. And was after and only missed Ella and Emmy. Emma. Emma. Yeah, oh my <laughs> gosh. That's Okay, that's hardcore. Yeah, John had streamed right before, and then the losers streamed again after Ross. So yeah. It's sort of like a pre-game and a post-game party, which is sort of cool. We hung out for the post-game. Yeah, we got a lot of I fun like, with that. Yeah, I like the little pub quiz yeah. deal. That was fun. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So James, yeah, that's a lot. That's great. I was sleepy by that time. I mean, I was still very, very tired, but I'm like, yeah, we were oh, this up. is a quiz. I like these kinds of things. So I sat here. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we, we had fun with uh, the losers playing that. Uh, Duchess says, uh, no sleep for you this weekend. Yes, thanks, uh, Duchess, for stopping by. Uh, so when the pandemic is over, we... Yeah, Silver Metal Tavern, yes. Actual train, cross-country, TLL event. Yeah, let's do an actual hype train <laughs> Everyone, all aboard Amtrak, right? We'll start at <laughs> Union Station in LA and go all the way to, uh, what's the one in New York? Uh, Grand Central Station, right? Oh my gosh, that would be hilarious. And everyone has to play Ticket to Ride. <laughs> <laughs> Ticket to Ride, that would be perfect. All the Ticket to Rides. Yes. All of them. Yes. No, we have to make all the stops that we have on our game. <laughs> Uh, Panda says she only missed M. Oh my gosh, and was able to pop in. That is okay. That is Woo! hardcore. That is hardcore. Yeah, train con, totally. Ticket to ride. Yeah, it's we when Michelle and I again before pandemic, we would sometimes we're here in the Inland Empire. I know Silver Mountain Tavern is actually in L.A. We used to take the Amtrak out to L.A. the Metro Link mm -hmm. and uh, do food tours. We would just you know um, by ourselves or maybe we'd meet friends. We just take little walking food tours in L.A. Get off at Union Station, then sometimes take the red line or the gold line, either gold line to Chinatown or the red line out to um, like Little Tokyo and other parts. And we just stop on the train and walk around to eat. And it was always the <laughs> best time. And all and it's funny because on the trains there, we would always play. Like, we'd have like our phones or whatever. I remember one time I played Ticket to Ride on the phone. I was just like so excited. Like, I'm on the train playing this. <laughs> uh. What was that one taco place that we really liked down there? The one, it had like the. 
Oh. The tortillas. Handmade made tortillas, like, right? Made out of uh, corn. Guisados. Guisados. Oh, guisados in L.A. That was originally started in East L.A. or Boyle Heights. And then they have a downtown uh, location right there, which is funny, on Six and Spring. I used to work on Six and Spring many, many decades ago. And that area was it was just bad. But they totally, like, you know, it was totally gentrified. And they just turned it into a nice little, like, um, uh, eating area, I yeah. guess. Food yeah. court each type. But the food there, yeah, Guisados is awesome. Yeah. Um, it's been a minute. Yes, it has been a minute. We, we must have. Uh, yeah, who needs a cruise when you can take a train? Right, Duchess? I'm more of a train guy. Like, the cruise, that's cool. I like, we've been on a cruise before. It was cool, but I think the train, there's just something, I don't know, magical about it. Maybe because there's train games. I don't know. <laughs> there are no cruise games. There's no cruise games, right? <laughs> uh, Griff Dog says, when I go to L.A. from Seattle, I usually take the train with a sleeper. Oh, okay, great way to travel. I've always wanted to do that. Have you ever taken a sleeper? I have not. We, we should, I, again, one of these days when it's safe, I would love to do that. Go up that. Um, the Pacific, up to the Pacific Northwest, and yeah. be beautiful. I wanted to do the the um, the Napa Valley one. Yeah, yeah. Where, where they you, serve you like, I, I guess you go wine tasting and they serve you dinner. And yeah, stuff. wine tasting dinner on like a like an older train, right? It's like sort of set up. I have no idea. Oh, okay. I, I know my cousin. Uh, I think Kathy did it. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I remember seeing pictures. Uh, let's catch up on the comments and we'll get to playing a game here. Uh, I'm like, Matt, how many tortillas are the way, only way to go? Agreed. Right. So, Matt, I, I worked on 4th and Spring. Oh, okay, and saw a shooting. Uh, L.A. is generally not a scary place, but that day, yeah. Uh, that's crazy. You actually saw a, a shooting on 4th and Spring. Yeah. I worked on 6th and Spring in the old, um, some bank building. I mean, this was decades ago. I'm totally aging myself, but it was a long time ago. But it was, you saw a shooting on 4th and Spring. I saw my first crack deal right in front of me on 6th and Spring. So, <laughs> shout out to uh, downtown LA when it was a little more dangerous. Uh, DJ Super Best Friend uh, says, I played Ticket to Ride Pass and Play during a graduation ceremony. Made a very long <laughs> go by. That's great. <laughs> Love it. Uh, Griff Dog also went from Seattle, Pittsburgh to visit family. Oh, nice. That's a long trip right there. Was that a lot of cards? <laughs> <laughs> to live in Dice LA said, uh, took a train with my dad from LA to Orlando in high school. Great. Oh, cool. Four days to travel. Yeah. Oh, wow. That sounds cool, though. Wow. All this travel, folks. That's great. Great scenery along the ocean and the mountains. Sleeper trains and buses before. Uh, the latter, not fun. Yeah, I've taken a long trip, uh, Sarah, in a, a bus. Not a sleeper bus, but in the Philippines from like, uh, what is it? Manila. Well, Manila to, uh, to Baguio, but it was, like, I think six hours. But I just remember, like, the bus that we took was, wasn't that nice. And this was many years ago. Uh, Silver Mountain, everyone has an L.A. gun story. Yeah, you ever <laughs> see that movie, um, was it Swingers with John Favreau back when he was, like, just starting out? Everyone, everyone has an L.A. gun story, you know? <laughs> uh, Tabletops, we would take the train to Seattle from Portland. That's a nice, pleasant trip. Uh, bottom shelf asks how much crack did you get? Unfortunately, I passed that. I was just <laughs> a deal in front of me. Bottom shelf, so uh, <laughs> not involved in the transaction. <laughs> TV, yep. Uh, never do a cruise with down for the train. Choo choo, yep. Things it could be the real choo choo crew. <laughs> totally the real choo choo crew, folks. Yes. Um, when you take a sleeper train, all meals are included. Oh, well, right there. Uh -huh. If all meals are included, gosh. Well, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, say how Baguio is easy to the 12 hour ride I had to take between where I lived in. Oh, okay, wow. 12 hours. Yeah. Uh, now, the last time I went from Manila to Baguio, it wasn't, it, it was fine. It was like the bus was, you know, brand new, blah, blah, blah. So it, it was fine. Actually, it was the last time was with Lauren. When Lauren, mm -hmm. I had flown out there um, to uh, celebrate my parents' 50th wedding anniversary. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Michelle couldn't get off work, but Lauren. Was actually well, she was actually out there for her internship or work? I think it was work, wasn't it? I don't remember because Lauren's been there. She's been there for like long stints of time. Yeah, <laughs> and I think it was a couple of times. Yeah, because when okay when we visited her, she was doing her internship, yeah. and then when I went there the following year, she was actually she actually had a job out there where she was working for a few months. Um, but yeah, so that was cool. We we. Met up in Manila, and then we went to um, Baguio and uh, hung out there with my, my folks. Oh, that was the year I, I broke my arm. So I, I had yeah. like three months off of work, and I'm like, I can't take any more time off. Mm -hmm. So I was here. 
That's all right. by myself. Yeah. <laughs> Friends, thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, thanks, uh, James. I just hydrated. You read my mind. Uh, we're going to play a game. Uh, this one oh, is... Yeah. yeah, I forgot. Let, let's just hang out and talk. Um, Spirits of the Wild. Uh, this game is actually from Mattel. You know, the toy maker? Um, a couple of years ago, they came out with this game. I think this is such a great little game. Bruno's barking, by the way. He's barking at his reflection. Oh, Bruno's barking at his reflection. Oh, my gosh. That's as loud as his bark gets. <laughs> uh, this is a wonderful two-player game of set collection, hand management. Um, you'll see it. It's got some elements of um, other games you'll see uh, that, you know, I, I think... Right off the bat, like um, Draftosaurus or Herbaceous, the way the set collection is done. But then you'll see it's it's different because of the action. So let me get it on board here. Let me get all my food out of the way first. But why don't we use the force? Woo! There we go. Um, excuse me. Here's the bag of stones. Here's a coyote. Where do we put him? Uh, oh, just right in the middle. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, victory. Liner, oh yeah, Victory Liner, yeah, um, yeah, love Victory Liner, totally cheap. Uh, let's see, Duchess says, it'd be fun to have a board game train from LA, New York, and back, you just go on and get off after it makes a full loop, that would be awesome. Come here, sweet boy. Yes. Here. Spirits of the Wild does so well with my kids, it's great, yes, so, Michelle, I, Michelle and I played it, uh, actually the last time I played it was like two years ago. I don't even remember playing Yeah, this. so, we're gonna do a quick refresher, um, let me get the rules up here. One, two, three. Oh! Oh, Bruno's going to make an appearance with Michelle, yeah. Uh, by the way, thank you again, folks. If you just joined us, this is Tabletop Tonight. We play games here on Twitch Mondays through Thursdays, 7 p.m. My name is Ruel. This is my wife, Michelle, and our pug, Bruno. And if you hear us talking about Lauren, that is our daughter, but she's not here today. Hey, Bruno. Oh. Um, so, how to play. You're just going to be taking these cards here, and let me just throw one here just real quick. Uh, they have simple actions on them. You will take, uh, for instance, take one stone, and then you'll flip this over. I get to choose a stone and place it on my player board here. Okay? There are several different colors of stones, and what you're doing is trying to collect sets of them here on your player board. Uh, I'm going to bring the player board here. Just a little close look. So, for instance, the owl. If you put six stones here, the same color pairs score three points each. So I've had two blue ones, two yellow ones, six point, or three points each. Okay? you also notice the rabbit. If you have three different colors in that spot, you will get six points. The beaver is a three of a kind and a pair, so like a full house for you, those of you who like poker. Um, you get five points for the three of a kind, and for the pair, you get two points. If you get both of them, the full house, you get seven points. Bruno, why are you licking my arm? It was very long. I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bruno's... <laughs> hey, uh, sweet boy. Bruno, get that. Okay, you know what? Good boy. Uh, the oh, salmon, gosh, you get uh, stones of the same color, or what, or a different color. So if you have five different colors here on these match uh, spots, you'll get 13 points. And finally, our friend the turtle. Yeah. If you have stones of the same color, up to five, you'll get points depending on how many you have. You'll notice, too, that there's an extra spot for stones here. Those are for the spirit stones, and these, these are the ones that look clear, okay? You place those there. Once you place that there, you may no longer put any stones to here. Okay, you're going to lock yourself out. But with every spirit stone you put, that's that little space is double the points. Okay, so double the points if you have a spirit stone there. When there are five spirit stones out on the board, whether it's on mine or and or Michelle's boards, the game is over. When there's five. Okay, so as you use each action, you will turn them over. Right. For instance, this one here is you take, add three stones to the bowl. Okay, there's the bowl. Add three stones from the bag. And then you move the coyote. What does the coyote do? I'm glad you asked, Ruel. What you do is the coyote will move. You'll place it on your opponent's board. And it's basically a blocker. Uh, that means if I put it on the turtle, Michelle could no longer place stones on the, on the uh, turtle. However, there is a way to move the coyote, coyote again. Again, you can use this card here and the other way to do it is there are two cards that say take one stone if you'll notice here I take one stone for one action on another action if I do this one you'll notice that it now completes a coyote that means at that time you may move the coyote so if I had the coyote here like Michelle put on a previous turn I do my second take one stone move I can now place it over there 
Okay. Uh, you know, my students are learning about symmetry. Uh-huh. Right now. <laughs> and watch, put the, your coyote. Uh-huh. Your coyote is symmetrical. Okay, there it is, <laughs> folks. I have to use this. Yeah, so, yeah, use it for the classroom. There it is, folks. You can also use this in the classroom. Uh, <laughs> symmetrical. Uh, so the other actions, so these are just take one stone. You just take it from the bowl, add it to your board. Uh, this one is add three stones, then move the coyote. This one here is add two stones and take one. So you grab two stones from the bag, and then you place one, um, take one and place on your board. Okay. Uh, this one's just straight up take two stones from here. And finally, this is the use the spirit power and recover your cards. So if you were one green, like after each action, let's say you go here, you have these three done. At any time after you've done three actions, you may use this one. Um, this is double-sided, so it's always available. Uh, you use a spirit power, which is one of the special abilities in the middle here, and then you just reset all of your cards. They call it recovering cards. Okay, uh, Let me do this here. These um, special powers are six different ones. They are in two uh, decks. And you just when you do use this card, you will just do that power. For instance, the bison. Uh, let's say I, I re uh, renew or refresh my cards, and then I uh, do a spirit power. Bison, add three stones, take one, and return one to the bag. Okay, pretty pretty simple um, uh, game to play. But again, there's just enough strategy here, and it plays quickly enough that I, I really enjoy it. Um, I know, Michelle, it, we've only played it once, but I, I feel like this is something that we could probably play a little more often. Uh, let's catch up on chat, shall we? Oh, I was reading it. Okay. <laughs> I'm caught up. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Mike, hey, Mike, thanks for joining us. Uh, that is Mike Gear uh, Garb. Uh, what is the age recommendation on this game? I'm always looking to find cool games to play with my kids. Somebody answered that. Oh, okay, cool. Um, pretty sure it's 8 plus, yeah. Age is 10 plus on box is okay with 8. You know, I think I did play this with one of our nephew or nieces. And if I recall at the time, they yeah. were definitely younger than 10. An 8-year-old, sure. yeah. I feel like an 8-year-old. Because there's not a, it's not text heavy. Yep. Daryl, well, the one hours in the house. Thanks for joining us, Daryl. Yes, thank you for the compliment. Nice Ella and TLN stream the other day. Folks, if you don't know, uh, Tabletop Live Network, we have another event coming up on um, February 27th, the end of the Feb this month. Another one, the end of March, March 27th, the Saturday. We're trying to, we're doing the last Saturdays of the month. But we're also presenting another, like a, an adjacent event called um, Galentine's Day, hosted, uh, organized by Amanda Panda and Crystal Dax. More info coming real soon, but it's going to be 16 hours of great streams. Um, James says uh, Amazon has this game overpriced. Yeah, you know, I, I, it's funny, James. I just looked on Amazon as well. It's like 60 bucks, or it's crazy expensive. Folks, Ooh. look for it. Yeah, look for it. Use it. It's obviously out of print right now, but I found mine at Target back when it first came out, um, and I actually got them on sale. You know how they did the clearance yeah. stuff? It was like five bucks. Yeah. Wow, and you only got one? I, I got one because that was I think it was that one, and there was a second copy, that, but I'm pretty sure the second copy was like the box was sort of smashed oh. in or whatever. But yeah, at the time it was 5 bucks. I think normally it's like 15 to 20 but at 20 bucks I think it's a steal. The components are great. Um, it's a fun game. Daryl Begaman's here. Daryl Begaman's in the house. Thank you, Daryl. Yeah, Daryl was actually the one that taught me this game. Uh, and then I immediately went out and got it. And I was like, yeah, this is, this is a, a must-have. So thanks, Daryl. What's FRB, Amanda? February? Oh, no. I, I see. Oh, I see. Yeah. Sorry, oh. Pat. Oh, you're. <laughs> Got it. No worries. Let's get started, shall we? I'm going to. <laughs> I just made it funnier. <laughs> Sorry, can't your type. <laughs> <laughs> I want some music. Let's go. 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 Yeah, good fun game. Yeah, I know Daryl. Yeah, we're big fans of this. February uh, 14, 6 a.m. PST with the with the uh, Nice. Oh, yeah. Music way too loud. Okay, I uh, just adjusted. Let me know right now. Uh, check one two. I just lowered it. Hopefully that's better. Hi. You want to say something real quick? Hello. Hi. Hello. hello. Check check one two. I love doing midstream uh, sound check. Still too loud. Okay, a little lower. Awesome. Thank you. That should be lower now, I hope. Uh, but thank you for the midstream check. Good, good to go. All right, so let's play the game. <laughs> let's head. 
happy Vinti says I stepped into a rave. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yarg, love sticks out. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know what music I had. I think I had the house thing. We have it on mute here, so on echo. So it's gonna echo for just a second. It, okay, it does sound like. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll put the chill, chill channel. How about that? You could also just yell. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank, thank you, Matt. <laughs> so I don't have a yelling voice. I have found out. So because there was one time when it was great timing. It was like the beginning of the school year, and you know we teachers were saying a little something, something, and the air conditioning went out. So we had all these really big fans blowing, and. You know, I was saying my spiel and nobody told me anything. And at the end, one of the other teachers said, you got to use your big girl voice. And I was like, I was using my big girl voice. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <sighs> okay. The beat dropped. The beat dropped, folks. There it is. Um, Tommy says, I love the look of this game. Been eye on for it. Yeah, this is so good. Hopefully you can find a copy used or, you know, somewhere because $60 is totally overpriced. Yeah. Um, I... I no, unless this stuff was like real gems. <laughs> yeah, I mean the, the components are nice. They are nice. Um, so for the first player, they they must turn over this one first. Uh, would you like to go first, babe? Or? Sure. Okay. So, so you just tell me what I need to do. Yeah. Okay, so, so take two stones is not available to you for the first turn. So you have to turn that over. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That way, it sort of negates the first player um, advantage. Okay. Okay. Um, so you choose um, one action. Away we go, folks. This is Spirits of the Wild from Mattel Games. Okay, I'm going to take this orange one. And do I place it on here right away? Uh, you would, yeah, go ahead and flip that over. Oh, I'll flip it. Oh, look here! Half of your buddy, the coyote. Okay, so now I place. Yep. Okay, um, I'm going to place that up here. All right. Um, now now it's, it's your turn? Yep, now it's my turn. Oh, this is easy. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to play Add Two Stone. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm going to do this one. Add two stones and take one. I do remember playing this game. Okay, yeah, good, good. So add two stones, and I'll take one. Um, I'll take this one, and I'll put it in the salmon. Okay. Oh gosh, darn it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Hi, Games of Fire. Thanks for joining us. Good to see you here. I will add two stones and take one. By the way, how's the music now, folks? Again, we, we don't have it on here, oh. just so it won't echo. Okay. Not what I wanted, but all right, I will deal with it. Okay. 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 Oh, by the way, any of the game, if there are five spirit stones out of the bag at end of any player's turn, the game ends immediately. The stones may be in the bowl or on the player boards. Okay, so that is, again, we're looking at the, the clear the ones. The, oh, okay. Yeah. So there's Oops. one right. Ah! <laughs> Uh, this stone here, if there are five of them anywhere on, uh, showing, we will... Okay, Amanda says it's a uh, tiny bit lower, please. Uh, okay. Sometimes it gets loud. Got it. Thanks, Amanda. Um, bump it in. I'm playing DJ right now. A little lower. <laughs> oh, my God, right? Yes. Okay. What'd you do? I put this purple one right here. Oh, okay. And let me let this little dog out. Yes, I see you. I see you. Ooh. I want that spirit stone, but I don't want to lock myself out yet. Because again, this one, folks, once you put it on here, you're going to get double points, but you're locked out. You can no longer play stones there. So I'm going to play the take two stones, and I'm going to take uh, this one. These are the same color, huh? No, these no. are different colors. I will take those and place them here. So I've done that. Michelle, you have done three actions. You may now reset if you would like, or you can do one of the other actions. Um... If you reset, you will get to play one of these actions before you turn over your cards. Take one stone from board and add to bowl. Take two stones. Hmm. Add three stones. Take one. Return one to the bag. No, I'm not going to do that yet. Okay. okay. So take one stone. Did I want to do that? No, 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 no. Okay. Just kidding. Okay. Just kidding. <laughs> um, I do want to use my spirit power. Okay. To recover cards. Oh, whoops. Okay, so that means all of these get turned over. Yep. Right? So can I choose from these now? Or do uh, I no. have to play a spirit uh, card? You play the spirit card and then you do that. Okay. Yep. So that is your action for the turn. Okay, I'm going to add three stones and take one. Is that the 
bison? Yeah. Okay. And then after you're done, uh, this will go on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so... Beyond Dead's in the house. Thanks, Beyond Dead. You don't have a dad joke for bison? Bison. <laughs> oh. Uh, what did the buffalo say to their child? Bison. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, gosh. What did I put there? It was these three, I think. Okay. Yeah, there was one clear one in there. Okay. Yep. So I think that's what it was, right? Yep. Okay, so add three stones... And then take one and return one to the bag. Oh, okay. You're okay, yeah. You put all three and then you okay, choose any okay. one. Yeah. Okay, so I want this one. And oh, then nice. I return one to the bag. Nice. Gosh darn it, Bruno. <laughs> Bruno wants to come back in. Uh, while Michelle takes care of Bruno. He also said, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna Is use this one to take a stone. I will take this one. That's there. Uh, you'll notice, folks, I don't know if you notice uh, there are the, oh this one's clear. But I did mark these because of the color, my colorblind issues. Uh, these were very close to the other color. So I just put a, a dot in the middle. It totally helps. Is it my turn? Uh, yeah. Okay. I am going to add two stones and take one. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, I don't want any of those. That would be a quick game. Okay. Daryl, it seems like slotting <laughs> the stones into the holes would be tactically satisfying. It is. I, I do like the components here. Uh, I am going to... <laughs> so your music is playing Mr. Melatonin. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> By Harris Heller. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, wow. Uh, so y'all don't fall asleep, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play... I think I'll, do I, do I try to push or do I, I'm going to play take one stone. Oh wait, doesn't this go underneath? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually, yeah, that's a good call. So the bail, the bail. It's a bail. So this new spirit power here is the bail, as Lauren would say when she was little. Uh, <laughs> return all stones in bowl to the bag, add the same number of new stones, then take one. Okay. Interesting. I, you know what? I was about to do something, but I'm, because of that power there. That's the new one, right? Yeah. Uh, I am going to use spirit powers to recover cards, or use a spirit power and recover cards. So one, two, and three. You have to do it minimum three actions. I'm going to do the bail. So return all stones to the bag. So there are one, two, three, four stones. Go back in the bag. We'll mix it up and draw chicken. four more. Chicken, chicken, chicken. <laughs> chicken, bake. Chicken, bake. Chicken like a Polaroid picture. <laughs> By the hay. Okay, so four. One, two, three. And four. Ooh! And I get wow. to take one. I'll take that yellow. Right there. Yeah. And now the wolf is hungry like a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, add four <laughs> stones, take one. That's for the next spirit action. Oh, good lord. Okay. okay. So I am going to take a stone. Oh, nice, cut it up. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Noise, noise, noise. So I need one of those the white ones, I think. Um, I'm going to play add two stones and take one. So I'm going to get lucky here. Add two stones. I'm going to take that spirit stone. What up? Double points, son. Boom. <laughs> okay. Grip Talk says I will have to look for it in the youth section of my FL. Yeah, totally look in the youth section. I know I've seen it before our local gaming convention at least, a, uh, it was a year ago, but I know I saw it in like the flea market or whatever. Okay, so if I do this one, add three stones and move the coyote. So I move it on mine or yours? Fine. Okay. I mean, you're just adding stones. You don't get any stones, but you're totally blocking me from adding something. Um, but do, uh, and you said I don't get any stones if I do that. Correct. And it does say you do not have to move the coyote, coyote if you don't want to. Hmm. Well, John, mechanically this feels like draft of swords. Yes, but the cards make it feel different enough to maybe own them. We own both. Um, and I, yeah, the, the scoring feels similar to draft of swords, but it's definitely not a drafting game. It's a, like, action selection yes. game. Right. Oh, this nice. This is the one. Take two stones. So. Wait, wait. You, you. Did you add some to the bowl? Oh, just get, I just take it just from take, there. Oh. Yeah. Oops. 
Part of this game. Three different colors. One of each, all of the same. It's really hot in here. Yeah, you <laughs> I need my heaters on. Yeah, I'll go turn them Okay. Um. Okay, you know what? Maybe I do want to take two stones. If I do that, then I can do this right here. Yeah that'll be two points. Okay. Good. So, yes. Okay. Okay, life is good now. Excuse me, Bruno. Okay. So. I like the tactile feel of reaching in a bag for the stones. Agreed. Devil, Derby Gaming has contributed Bruno points, 250, to create new Bruno. Oh, yeah. Folks, we have a challenge. If you spend your Bruno points, if I, I forget what I said it at, but if you if we spend as a group, as a community, then we will create uh, some new Bruno rewards. So feel free to spend the points, and by that I we're gonna do like some new Bruno. Um, well, you'll you'll see. If we get that goal, we'll talk about it. Um, thanks for doing that, Daryl. By the way, I don't I don't know where to find it on here, um, but Bruno walk. Hey Slack. Hey Slackfish, thanks for joining us, Bruno. Or <laughs> Bruno Slackfish taking Bruno for a walk. There it is. <laughs> Good boy, Bruno. I took him for a walk. It was yesterday. Oh, little boy pulled his. I don't want to move. <laughs> so I picked him up and carried him. Yes. I don't know. It was maybe like five times. <laughs> um, Slackfish has also contributed two thousand points to the new Bruno Rewards Challenge. Thank you, Slackfish. Yay! Always. And hey, we have a raid coming in. Thank you, Brothers Murph and Gen Con TV for raiding. There's Rain Hat. Welcome to Tabletop tonight. My name is Ruel Gaviola. This is my co-host Michelle. Hola. Happens to be my wife too. It's pretty cool, right? Um, <laughs> Your co-host for life. <laughs> co-host for life, right? <laughs> Uh, we play games here on Twitch, Monday through Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific. Uh, we're playing a fun two-player game tonight called Spirits of the Wild. Um, it's out of print, we, we just learned, uh, but it's from Mattel Games. It's totally surprising because Mattel, you think like old school toys and stuff, not actual like decent modern board games. So this one is good. We, we like it a lot. Uh, thank you, Brothers Mar, for playing. I saw that y'all were playing Caverna tonight. I just assume you'd be playing that all night because I'm pretty sure that's like a long, long game. I've never played Caverna. It's a Uwe classic, I understand, but... Thank you for uh, the raid, friends. Again, the Brothers Murph, they are the co-organizers of Tabletop Live Network, which we've been talking about. Uh, thank you, James, for contributing 2,000 points for the Create New Bruno Rewards. Um, we're going to get some new Bruno Rewards here in the channel. Uh, there is the info for TLN. Thank you, Amanda Panda. And uh, Bones Giant, it was a mass market game. They did not do a reprint. Okay, James, yeah, thank you for the, the info. Again, welcome, Raiders. Uh, if you're new here, stick around. We're going to play. We're playing a game. We... Love hanging out with y'all, and thank you again to the Brothers of Murph for the raid. Uh, let's get back to the game, shall we? Whoop, Bruno. My hat is off to you, friends. Um, it is my turn now, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to... Um, so this is basically, for those of you who just joined us, this is a set collection game with some hand management uh, on it. Um, they did this in uh, High Voltage, I think another... Oh, okay, cool. I don't remember High Voltage. Um, I don't want to, well I can't put any more in my salmon because it has a spirit stone um, so I will it's choo choo hype shield uh, choo choo hype shield what is that what community challenge oh wait did we just oh 25% okay cool cool uh, Brothers Murph is also thank you Brothers Murph we have raised 13,000 Bruno points for some new Bruno rewards uh, things so we've got some ideas we're really excited about so help make that happen by spending those points folks remembered when Lauren was little that we lived near a Mattel um, like I don't know it wasn't called like a warehouse an outlet an outlet I yes. think I know what you're talking about yeah right off the 60 freeway yeah yeah that's not there anymore no okay no and there was another one I don't know maybe 10 miles away oh yeah I think they might have closed all of them nice yeah it was great you could get cheap Please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Games of Fire. Thank you, Panda Angel. Thank you, Grip Dog. Thank you, Brothers Murph, for contributing to the uh, Bruno Challenge by spending those Bruno points. Uh, thank you, Table Tots. Much appreciated. Uh, it's my turn. So I'm going to take a stone. I'll take the one stone here. And uh, let's see. Three of a kind. Um, 
the same or three different colors. I'll put it on the rabbit, three different colors. Deadpan is also the creature 2,000 points to the Bruno Challenge. Thank you, friend. Okay, so I have three cards turned over, so I'm going to play this one. Use spirit power and recover cards. Mm -hmm. it's a dog oh one. my gosh, he's going through all no, his Bruno. papers. Ah. Not that. So yes. I had some notes over here that I just nice. threw on the ground here from a meeting earlier and Bruno got to them. Sorry, Bruno, those aren't oh toys, those are notes. Oh my goodness. You should have them all up. No, he just got to the napkin. Oh, okay. The papers were next. Thanks. Uh, Dead Pan is contributing points. Daryl Bernard, yeah, thanks, friends. Okay. We're going to get some new Bruno challenges here real soon. So these get turned back over, and then I want to play this one, the wolf one. Uh huh. Add four stones and take one. T Viv D is also contributing. Thank you, T Viv. Uh, so Michelle's played the wolf. Add four one, stones, two, take one. Three, four. So I'm hungry like the wolf. Ha ha! Oh, was, it this, was it going to the bison? Where was it? No, it was under, it was on this, um, yeah. Oh, okay. On that one. But the first one did we do, was that bear? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. It was the bison, I think. No? Uh, I did the bear power. I think I shuffled it earlier because I did this where I return all stones and add the same number. So, so we are, done all of yeah, those. we're on the bison again. Okay, so I want this one. Pretzel rock. Oh, pretzel, <laughs> I'm reading pretzel rock. It, it's the, the music thing. It says, uh, no one believes me <laughs> by big giant circles. Uh, James said this was the best of the two player series. Oh, good to know. Board all the games, Bruno dreams ones. definitely need more Duran Duran. <laughs> yes. Uh, so it's now my go, correct? Si, senor. Which one did you take? Which one did I take? Um, this, the wolf said uh, add that four one. and take one. I took this one. Oh, so you one. did complete that. Nice. Oh, my gosh. So I am going to, I don't want to take two stones. I'll just take one stone, I believe. So I do have the coyote. You know what? I am going to use the coyote to block off the beaver. So how do I get rid of that? Um, by doing this, where you uh, two. You know, basically, you're going to be stuck for one extra turn. Okay. Yeah. Now you could always go somewhere else. Let's go, Carol. Thank you for contributing Bruno points. So it's my turn. Yeah. So go ahead and choose an action. Oh, it's already. <laughs> you always want to take. <laughs> um. Okay, I am going. Actually, I'm going to take one stone. Okay. Yep, get those double points. Very nice. Okay, so now I am going to use my spirit power to recover. Again, this is double-sided, so you know it doesn't expire. Coyote just wants to play with beaver. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's all. I'm going to play the bison. So again, what did the buffalo say to their child? Bison. <laughs> Add three stones, take one, return one to the bag. And that goes on the bottom. Uh, actually, let me move here. Take, add three stones. One, two, three. Uh, take one and then return one to the bag. So I will take this one and I'll return one to the bag. I'm gonna return that spirit stone. And then that goes on the bottom of the deck and it's Michelle's turn. I am going to take one stone and I am going to turn this over. Look at that. So the coyote doesn't want to play with the beaver anymore. So Boo where, where do I put the coyote? Your choice of any. Oh, oh, is that right? Yeah. So the only, obviously you don't put on salmon because that's where you locked oh. it up. So I can put it here so you don't get double points. Boo earns. Okay. Sliver is hi, busy with boys, homework tonight, so mostly lurking. Thank you for hanging out, Slivers. Appreciate your support as always. Hey, Tabletopia is here. Tabletopia, thanks for joining us. Coyote just wants to play with Beaver. They're friends. They are friends. Thank you, Tabletopia. Um, let's see. <laughs> Tabletopia, what does the bison say? It's like that song, right? What does the fox say? Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, wait, no, that's a little bit Alexis. Oops. <laughs> so can I say that on on here? Yeah. Okay, so Shit's Creek. <laughs> well, if you don't know, it's a TV show. Yes. And it's very funny. And one of the characters is named Alexis, and she's saying, Oh, yes, Tabletopia knows! <laughs> Tabletopia knows. <laughs> and she's saying the song, and... Um, 
Now I can't remember. Oh, it's la 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 a little bit of Lexus. While Michelle's singing, I'm going to add two stones and take one. And Game of the Fire asks a question: How do you know a bison's about to charge? He gets out his credit card. Oh, Jersey knows a little bit of Lexus. I was laughing for days about that one. Michelle loved that one. Uh, I'm going to take this that yellow one, one here. Shows that just it just sucked me in. <laughs> I'll go here. Uh, so that was add two cells, take one. I am. Oh, is it my turn? Uh, yes. <laughs> just kind of assumed. Okay. Um. Wait, Tabletop says the old Dune movie has a pug in it. Really? The what? The old Dune movie. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, I am going to add two stones and take one. Uno, dos. Okay, and I'm going to take uno. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, isn't that cheesecake bar good? Yeah. I'm enjoying the uh, espresso cheesecake from cheesecake bar from our friends at Game House. Right, GB Glazer. Yeah, these are my people. They these are. are my people. Michelle loves that show, friends. Uh, I'm going to take one stone. I'll put it... Ooh, I feel like I've made a mistake here. A little <laughs> bit of Lexus. Amanda's okay. eating the, right, the same thing right now. And okay, thank so you, Amanda, for bringing this over. I can turn these over. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so... I am going to use a spirit power. Mm -hmm. um, take one stone from board and add to the bowl, and then take two stones. Oh. Can I take one from yours? Or does it have to be from my board? I think it's, it's from your board. I, I don't know uh, which animal was that. Deer. It's the deer, deer. It's the deer, deer. Thank you, deer. <laughs> um, I never call you deer. I know. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't have, so I'm going to assume it's just on your board, because none of them okay. are from other players. So this one says, return all stones in bowl to bag and add same number of new stones and take one. Mm -hmm. Um. Why, Jim Plays is in the house. Hi, Julie. I think I will do this. Okay. Okay, so all stones and I just take two. Mm -hmm. Put two new ones and then take one and place on your board. Oh. Well, I meant take two out of the bag. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, not what I wanted. And take one. Okay. Um, I will put it in there. Okay, McClay has contributed 2,000 points. Thank you, folks. Everyone's contributing 2,000 points to the Bruno Challenge. Hopefully, we get the, as a community, if you get all those points, we are going to create some new Bruno stuff for you. That's amazing. What's that? GB Glazer says, my wife told me there's a site where you can order Rose Apothecary supplies and art from the Rosebud Motel. Those are oh, the settings. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice. Just great. That's cool. Um... Got more Bruno points. Thank you, Clyde Man. Appreciate it. We also have some new followers, folks. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. My name's Ruel. It's my wife, Michelle. Hello. <laughs> and uh, we play games here on Twitch Monday through Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific. We do analog alerts, so I would like to welcome Snuggle McSnuggles. Is it Snuggle McSquiggles? And Infinite Dragons 4 for the follow. Thank you. Whenever we get new followers, Felicia the Follow Fish shows up. She hangs out, swims around, says hello, welcomes new followers, and then she takes off. And then we say, along with y'all in chat, bye, Thanks, Felicia. Felicia. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it, friends. Did you take my clappy hands? Uh, yeah, I put them over here. <laughs> they're not, yeah, they're over here. I can't get up. Michelle will give you a round of applause, because oh, okay. that's how she rolls. You know what graduation was? <laughs> <laughs> and these people had clappy hands, and you know, they were just clapping. I mean, just getting a little too crazy with them. Really? <laughs> hands flew. Well, like it's. Are you splitter. serious? Yeah. <laughs> and it was actually kind of nice. It was one of the students that I had, like in junior high, and she invited me to her 
high school graduation. Mm, nice. Yeah. yeah, it was really nice. So, All right. Let's there's my clappy hand story. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Cajeta is a goat's milk caramel. I get it from a local goat farm. Ooh, nice. Boots DJ, thank you for contributing to uh, Bruno points. Gonna get those new Bruno things for you real soon. Is it my turn or yours? Uh, one, two, yeah, it's your turn. Oh, okay, how about that? Okay. Yeah, I guess you need to use those Bruno points somewhere, right, GP Glazer? Thank um, you for contributing, by the way. I am going to add two stones and take one. Okay. Please be something I need. Darn it. This one's gonna go right here. Nice. Turn that baby over. I'm gonna take one stone for my turn. And it's a um, what's this guy's name? Uh Coyote. <laughs> Wiley. Wiley Coyote. <laughs> I'm gonna move Coyote over here. And I will take one stone, which is gonna be the double point one right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna take one stone. I'm gonna put it right here. Okay. Uh, did you flip over your card? This one. Oh, okay, cool. So uh, what do you do? Because there's nothing here. Yep, so that means I have to do this. So I'm gonna do that to flip over my cards. So do I, did you do this one last time? The deer? A little bit of Lexus. Yes, I did, dear. Okay, so Eagle, take one deer, stone, deer. take another turn. But I can't do that, there's no stones there. So I'm gonna do the wolf. Because I'm hungry like <laughs> hungry like a wolf, right, folks? Uh, add four stones, take one. So now the bison will be back in place. Uh oh. How many clear stones are there? One, two, three, four. Ooh, if there's another one, then the game's over. Um, I'm going to take this one here, and that's the end of my turn. Big sigh. Alrighty. Um, I am going to turn this bad boy over here. Boo Earns. Okay, to move. Move. This. Get out the way. Get out the <laughs> way. Right here. Ah. It's just going to cover that hole. Okay. And. Oh, and because I turned it over, I can take one stone. Correcto mundo. Mike Garb. Oh, that song is stuck one. in my head, huh? <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Oh, my God. Okay, so I have to do this one. I'm going to take this here. Okay, your turn. Okay. I'm going to take... Oh, if I take two stones, then I have to take one here. Right? Did I play this card? Yep. I cannot do that. So, I am going to play my spirit card. So, these three get turned back over. Take one stone, take another turn. Ugh, man, that's the one I want. Or add three stones and take one and return one to the bag. Um, yeah, I'm going to play the <laughs> bison. Kawaii juice. Julie says, LOL, real. When you reach over, Michelle, your arm looks super long because, yeah, <laughs> Julie, it was funny because earlier um, Michelle had Bruno and Bruno was over here like trying to chew on my arm and it looked like Bruno was like totally <laughs> teleporting across the street. Yes! Okay, so add three stones. I'm taking one. Okay. One of these bad boys. Oh, you got it. Darn it. Nice. And I'm going to return this one to the bag. Okay. Is there anything on the back of these? No. Nah. Okay. Yes. Si, sí, senor. Okay, I am going to take a stone, and I've completed the coyote, so I get to move him back over here. And I take a stone, and I'm going to put it uh, here on the beaver. Uh, Bone says, I keep reading Boo Earns as bourbon. Think I need a drink? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. I think that'll be the new thing. I'm, instead of Boo Earns or bourbon, I'm just saying bourbon. <laughs> I don't know why that one's funny. Bourbon! <laughs> and Benny the Fist Bear says... <laughs> Benny the Fist Bear. <laughs> Folks, if you're new to the channel, don't forget, if you spend bits, uh, Benny the Fist Bear shows up. And he may say bourbon. 
to add two stones and take one. How many clear stones do we have? I have two on my board. I also have two. Okay, so if one shows up, the game is over. Uh, what was it? This was add two stones, take one. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, perfect. Woo! Full house, son. stone put it here and look at that the uh, coyote's back no. oh it wants to play ah bourbon got a friend <laughs> oh bourbon can i do me. take one stone to another turn do, return all stones do. oh man really the <laughs> only move i have is this one first time we're gonna use it in the game folks uh, add three stones, move the coyote. So, I add three stones. I'm not going to get any stones. I just add them. And I get to move the coyote. Oh, and that's game. Now, the the rules does say I mean, you don't have to move the coyote. It doesn't really do me any good to move the coyote because the game is over. But, I just remembered reading something. I don't know if this will come into play, but hey, look at this. If the game is tied... The player with the most points wins the game. In case of a tie, the player with the coyote wins the, the, the tie. Oh. So, I'm not going to move the coyote. <laughs> you like how I just saved that till the end of the game? <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, show's over, guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's add up our points. Um, again, you just go by what's uh, on each one here. And um, so I've got nothing here because I didn't get a pair. Two, right? Because this double, double yeah. The spirit stones double your scores. So I have eighteen plus six plus five. Okay, I got mine. Oh no, I don't. So, uh, do you have your number? I do. Okay, so I had nothing here because I didn't score. Uh, three different cards. So six times two is twelve. I uh, got this for 7 plus another 7 because I completed 14. So that is 26 plus, uh, this is double, 18. 26 plus 18 is 44. How'd you do? Yeah, flip this table. Uh oh, flip this table. <laughs> I got 31. GG, 44, 30. So did you, let me see, you got the double. Did I do that there. right? I think okay, so. Okay, so this is 369 and doubled, right? So yep. 18 uh -huh. plus 6. So that's 24. Oh, yeah, no double. Right. No, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you got to double that. Yeah, okay, so that was 24. Wait, 3, 6, 9, 18 plus uh, Oh, wait, 12. that's 12. Yeah, that's oh, 30. I didn't do it right. Yeah. Okay, so that's 30, and this is three of a kind for five points. Oh, wait, and okay. Yeah. So is this five plus two plus seven? Yeah. Oh, I so yeah. didn't have this right. Okay, okay. so where are we at? <laughs> I, I forgot. Think, I think we're gonna die. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, okay. So this was three, three, three. So that's nine. So that's eighteen. Okay. Right. Yep. Okay, and then this is twelve. Yep. Six doubled. Okay, and that's seven mm -hmm. plus seven, which is fourteen. Yep. And then two. Is that right? Oh, yeah, you Oh, maybe you're gonna win. Okay, so what do you have? 46. 46. Okay, let's do mine over. Uh, <laughs> no, nothing here. Uh, can you get the calculator? Oh, please? okay. Yes. Nothing for the owl. The rabbit, I also have this, so 6 times 2 is 12. Okay. I have this one completed, so seven, 5 plus 2 plus 7, 14. And then I have 5 of these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 9 times 2 is 8 plus 18. Oh! 44! Uh, <laughs> Let's do the uh, teleporting high five. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, Michelle has won with a score of 46 to 44. GG. What was it? Oh, it was that. 
I thought we were gonna tie, and that well, coyote would come to play. That would have been. That's because I didn't add it right. So. Yeah, it was. You completed that top one, the pairs, and then the the uh, full house one as well. Um, so I did not complete this one, and then you got those extra points for the salmon, which was nice. The salmon. That actually, that's the one that got you the uh, the two extra points, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Because if you don't, then we tie, and then the coyote comes to play. Oh, GG. You were all ready to use it, coyote. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I learned about it right before we started playing. Uh, thank you, friends, for enjoying. Yeah, GG, good games. GG's all around. GG's with the hearts. Thank you. Panda with the Michelle emotes. Good thing that adding wasn't part of the game. Yeah, thank you, Slackness. Yeah. If adding was part of the game, I would lose every time. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, that was Spirits of the Wild from our uh, from Mattel Games. Um, I want to thank you all for hanging out tonight. Thanks again for getting... We did a level 3 hype train on a Monday night. That was great. <laughs> uh, we also got a bunch of Bruno points. Uh, we're working towards the rewards, which we will reveal when we get those points. So we're going to work on those um, the next couple of days. Um, what's going on? Uh, this week... If you're on Facebook, I was on Facebook Live earlier with Board Game Spotlight, uh, James Hudson, uh, Derek Funkhauser, Lizzie Funkhauser, uh, Stephanie from, um, oh my gosh, I, I totally forgot her um, channel, uh, but Stephanie from Board Game Spotlight and also Jimmy Hudson as well. We talked about our favorite games of 2020, so if you're on Facebook, you can check out the VOD over there on Facebook Live. Um, this week, I've got a couple of things uh, offline that I'm taking care of. But we will be back here with more games Tuesday through Thursday. I'm probably going to do a solo game or two. And then, um, yeah, it's going to be fun. Uh, hi, hi, England. Gigi is asking for a... His slang. Like for her. Oh, really? <laughs> Gigi? Oh, okay. Horses for everyone. So we got we got Gigi, horse, and we've also got uh, bourbon for Boo Earns. Uh, this has been fun. Um, it's been two years that this is your second game. I mean, how do you, what do you think of it? I like it. I really did not remember playing this. Yeah. But um, as we started, I was like, yeah, okay, little things seem familiar now. Yeah, yeah like the scoring's a, it's similar to Draft of Source, right, where you're trying to get yeah. these certain things. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like this game a lot. I think it's uh, fun. Uh, let's raid somebody, folks. Stick around for the raid. Thank you again for joining us. Uh, we're going to find someone to raid, and oh, we're going to raid Board Game Spam. Thank you, Grip Dog. They are playing. Let's go uh, raid uh, Pia and uh, Andrew. They're, they're, they seem like really nice people. Uh, thank you again. Let's go, Carol. Good to see you. Thanks for the resub. They're just starting. They're just starting. Perfect. Thank you, Tabletopia. Friends, we are going over there. We're going to raid them. Thank you again for your support here and also for Tabletop Live Network. Let's go raid uh, Spam. Let's, let's, give, let's show them some love, shall we? Uh, I'm going to shut this down, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye.